Come on. You're almost there. You can do it. Push. Push. She will push. <laughs> Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Adventures. We've got a couple things I want to do this episode. I first want to expand our crop plots a little bit in our greenhouse. And uh, for that I want to grab our large crop plot. Oop, oop, oop. No, not co-op. That would be crop. <laughs> large crop plot blueprint. Say that ten times fast. Large crop plot blueprint. And uh, go ahead and manufacture that. I'm going to need, uh, need two of these I think to expand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to start growing some narco berries, uh, just so we have a better, a quicker access to narcotics. Now, I can always whack the tail of uh, our Brontos back there and easily get some narco berries, but not as many as I could probably collect over and over and over again in a crop plot. And I've got so much fertilizer coming from this guy from Exxon that I filled up three of these chests with fertilizer, and, and I have no problem just reusing fertilizer over and over and over again on uh, berries as I'm harvesting them. So... I think it's a great, great uh, combination. So what do we need here for this? We need uh, wood, thatch, fiber, and stone. Looks like we're going to need 200 stone. Bunch of wood. Bunch of thatch. Just grab two stacks of everything. Hopefully that will be enough. And some fiber. Is that enough for two of them? It is. Excellent. Did I craft them? I swear I... Oh, I did. <laughs> A little bit of server lag there. All right, the last one's being built, so I can get rid of these uh, ingredients. They've already been consumed. Boom, boom. And boom. And we're good on the stone. All right. So we're going to have to get uh, Exxon to move. Ugh, Exxon. Because I think we'll get a uh, obstruction message here if we uh, if we try to place where he is. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and get this one down. Oh, I don't need large crop plots. Why did I make large crop plots? Why did you guys stop me? <laughs> I want medium crop plots. Oh, boy. Uh, large would be great if they would fit in there, but I don't... Oh, that's a good question, actually. They'll produce more fruit, won't they? Maybe I do want to use large crop plots. I don't need them, certainly. But if they'll fit in here, if two of them will fit in here... I'm all for using them. Okay. Oh, actually, I should probably come out of a hair. So that because there's a door to my left there. <laughs> let's go ahead and place that. And I think if I can get Exxon to leave, let's go ahead and have him follow for a moment. Come on over here. And I'm going to have to disable his wandering for a moment, I think. So that he doesn't get in my way as I'm finishing this work. Let's go ahead and disable his wandering. Tell him to stop following. And we'll try to place this one over here. And hopefully I can still get in the door. And I'll, actually, hopefully it'll still place. Oh, we may not be able to place this. Oh, man. Did I not go far enough over against that wall? Maybe I didn't. I can't see any place to get green here. Yeah, obstructed. Obstructed. What will one large crop plot do for me? <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to make mediums. I'm just going to make mediums. In fact, let me place this large... These are useful for Species X, but I can make more if I ever need to need more Species X stuff. So we're going to leave him in there. We're going to make some medium. So let's go back and get the medium crop plot blueprint. Another tongue twister. There it is. And I can make two of those with what I had left over from the two larges. Awesome. And while I'm at it, you know, I'm going to go ahead and place now. I was going to say I should go get the seeds, but they're on the other side of the wall, so I might as well just place these now and then go get the seeds in a moment. So, yeah, these are easily fit. Not a problem. 
Uh, I think that's fairly straight. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and crouch because I'm indoors and bring this down towards my feet, point down a little bit, and go to K mode. There we go. And I get a much better view of the alignment of this thing. Okay. Looks actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and place that. And now let's place the last one. Can I turn? No, I cannot. I'm going to have to turn. <laughs> uh, point towards the ground. There we go. Kind of lined up with this one. And there we go. Now, they are irrigated. They're showing as irrigated. Awesome. So that's still close enough to irrigate. Now I'm going to need some seeds. Do I have two narco berry seeds in here? I do. Those are the narco berry seeds. And I'm going to need a bunch of fertilizer, which I've got over here, as I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I got 16. I don't know how many slots I need for these things. So let's go ahead and put in the seed. Boom, 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 boom. It should consume the seed here fairly quickly. Well, I guess it hasn't. I thought it would. Okay, I'm going to need uh, four more there once the seed is consumed. There we go. And five more. So five more fertilizers. There we go. Fill this guy up. And while we're here, we might as well check the other crop plots, which I don't think I've done in a while, and see what our fertilizer situation is. 270. I think we can fill these up. Yeah, two more here, one more here, one more here, and one more here. So that's five total, I think. Oops, that was four. That was also four. <laughs> All right, let's fill these guys up. Now, I don't really need to take any of the, any of the uh, advanced crops right now. My refrigerator's got plenty of stacks of them. Um, but it's nice to have it available to me. I don't mind tending the garden and keeping it growing. I mean, I know a number of people will grow all they need, stick it in the refrigerator, and then dismantle their crop, or not dismantle, but let their crop plots die out so they don't have to bother putting fertilizer in and keeping it going. But you know what? I kind of like that there's growing plants in there. So I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. All right, the other thing we wanted to do, I'm going to let those narco berries grow. And, oh, that's right. Let's put Exxon back on, back on Wander. Just filled him up with some... Uh, some poop earlier. I want him to gener generate all the uh, good fertilizer and oil for us. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to attempt a breeding of She-Hulk and Silverback. Now, Silverback's a low level. She-Hulk's pretty good. She was uh, 108, I believe, right, when we tamed her. Uh, but I'm hoping what we can get out of this is a high-level male so that we can have a breeding pair so that we can uh, start breeding our, like I said, our Gigantopithecus army that we're going to use to uh, battle the Broodmother. So I would love it if we could get a, a, a male out of She-Hulk here. Let's see if we can do that. It's going to take us a while. So I'm going to take him back into our little breeding room back here that I built so I don't have to keep whistling all the time. See if they are going to be close enough to actually do, do it. Uh, enable wandering and enable wandering. All right. The mating progress has begun. Hopefully they won't get too far away from each other in this area. So we don't lose the mating progress. So I'm going to let her get mated and be back in a second. All right. I believe they've had plenty of time. One of the great things about this area is even if they get too far away, I can just leave them be. And uh, since they're mammals, they're not dropping an egg that I need to pick up right away. She is gestating. So it, it was successful. So let's go ahead and set them back where they belong. Take silver back. Home. And I'm actually going to take She-Hulk. A little closer. Actually, I think this is their home over here. Take She-Hulk a little closer to uh, my work area so that I can monitor her. And uh, notice when uh, the baby comes out. I don't want to miss that for sure. So, all right. She's in a good place here. I can keep an eye on her. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. Thank you, She-Hulk. <laughs> I've also got, uh, you might have noticed, I used to have two smithies here. I, I destroyed both and moved one around so that I could get through more easily. 
I was kind of tired of having to uh, jump over the smithies every time I wanted to get over here quickly from the other side. So I just put one smithy here. I rearranged these, uh, this vault to have a lot of the stuff that I used to keep on the two smithies. And uh, I've still got my three uh, mortar and pestle here. And right now I've got a little assembly line going on where I'm generating some gunpowder. I'm just making a whole bunch of spark powder right now. And I've already got the charcoal in place for the gunpowder. And over here I'm just generating tons of charcoal, which I think I have done. Uh, so let's take all of that and put the extra over here in a charcoal folder uh, for use next time I need. And in fact, while we've still got the uh, forge going, I think I'm going to grab a little more wood. That's a stone, not wood. <laughs> And uh, put that in the uh, industrial forge to kind of take six. I think I can take six stacks. Oh, I can barely take six stacks. I have my hut off. It would have told me I was overweight. <laughs> um, and I'll put the six stacks in there and just burn as much of it as I can. Uh, great having the beavers. I love it because as soon as I want to do something like mass-produced charcoal, it's just I'll go whack a couple of trees with the beavers and uh, boom, I I've got enough to, to make thousands of charcoal. So I'm going to keep an eye on uh, She-Hulk. Bring up the little bar here so I can see how she... I'm still encumbered? No, it's an old message. <laughs> um, and see uh, when she gets to her gestation progress. And when she does, I'll be back. And we can share the, uh, the joy of birth together. All right. Baby is about to be born. We've got all our gunpowder. More gunpowder we're going to need for a while. I would hesitate to say more gunpowder than we'll ever need. Uh, because we can go through it pretty fast. <laughs> Uh, tranquilizer darts and more importantly shotgun shells i can go through it really fast i've only got uh 18 plus what's in my shotgun right now so uh let's get this poo out of the way she's very close she might even poo before she has the baby so uh we'll have to see what else we can do um i do have like i said i've been getting this because i want to make uh, shotgun shells i don't really need uh any at the moment Oops, where's emma there's emma sorry if i made you guys dizzy there uh, I don't really need darts, trank darts. Uh, I've got plenty right now. Looking at 175 of those, plus uh, one in each gun probably. So I'm in good shape that way. Uh, I don't really do simple rifle ammo. I don't really use the simple rifle. I do use the sniper. And I think I'm going to make some of those bullets. But first, the baby is about to be born. Let's grab some uh, mejos to feed it here. Grab 100 mejos. I think I just heard her make noise. Did she just have the baby? No, she did not. Get rid of this poo. Goodbye, poo. Okay, She-Hulk. Give us a baby boy. Give us a baby boy. High level, please. High level baby boy. <laughs> Give us a high level baby boy. Come on. You're almost there. You can do it. Push. Push, She-Hulk. Push. <laughs> there it is. What do we got here? Oh, oh, level 93 is pretty good. Is it a boy? It is not a boy. That's fine. She'll be part of the army. <laughs> Let's go ahead and disable wandering on her and get a good look at her. Um, I don't remember. I think she looks like Silverback. I think. But uh, at level 93, pretty good, pretty good level. Not bad. It's in between the two of them. A male would have been awesome, but, you know, I'll, I'll take her. So we're going to have to wait. Uh, we have the timers down here on this server, so it's another seven hours. So not in this episode are we going to mate her again. But next episode or the episode after, we'll try another one, and we'll see if we can get a decent level male out of this so we can start building our army. Speaking of our army, you stay there, okay? Don't follow me anymore. I'll name her later. Our uh, dimorphs, I, I'm not really going to do another dimorph attack, but we do still have our dimorphs. We've got, uh, let's see, I'm trying to bump their speed up. A long time ago, dimorphs had a, a cap, uh, like a 120 speed cap. And even though you could spin points on speed, they never went above 120. I don't know if that's still the case, so I'm kind of experimenting. Trying to get them up to 120 so I can see what would happen if they get there. All right, so I've got uh, I've got Jeremy, I've got the achievement hunters: Jeremy, Gavin, Michael, Ryan. I've got Jack, and you'll have to, like I said, <laughs> you'll have to go to the achievement hunters and watch some of the videos to get that joke. Um, and I've got Lindsay. 
Now, who I'm missing is Jeff. And I'm missing a couple of others as well that are on camera sometimes, like Caden and so forth. So as we get more of these Dimorphs, if we ever do get more, I'll go ahead and put those names in. We had used Jeff as the name of uh, one of our T-Rexes, I believe. I, need, I know I need to go back and feed the baby. Don't worry. Uh, I'll be there shortly. I think it was our T-Rex. was named Jeff, but I changed it to Erissa because it was a female. <laughs> And I hadn't realized that, apparently, when I named her. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the Rexes up to like 10,000 health and then the rest in melee. So Jeff is available now. So as soon as I get a male Dimorph, I guess I'm going to have a Jeff. Let's go feed the baby. Okay, we're back. And the baby has reached juvenile status. Still haven't figured out a name for her. I will soon, I promise. <laughs> but for now, she's just going to be a baby. She's going to be a juvenile. Going to hang around here <laughs> and just chill. All right. Um, I think I want to do a couple of things. I have some brews. I've used them before. Um, some health brews, some medical brews. Really handy uh, in situations where you lose a little bit of health and you want to get it back right away and, you, you know, you, you're not hungry or other things of that nature. Uh, I want to make more of those, but I also want to make some focal chili. That experience of building that bridge to the uh, Northern Island showed me that uh, I really should be spending a lot of time, uh, <laughs> should be spending something into crafting speed because it was taking forever to build stuff. And moving back and forth was slow. Focal Chili uh, increases your movement speed and increases your crafting speed. So I thought that would be a great thing to have in the inventory for the situations where I'm doing a lot of building. Uh, so what I want to do real fast is I want to do a couple tail swipes with uh, Arboronto here. And you're not seeing anything because I have my UI down, but uh, it would be spammed with uh, with stuff right now. And I want to grab a whole bunch of the ingredients for these. And the uh, health brews is, ooh, Tinto Berries, the red ones. Uh, then again, you use Tinto Berries for the focal chili as well. I don't want this particular mammoth. I want this one because this one has a lot of weight, 1740. I want to use the uh, mammoth to carry the uh, berries because I just probably could not carry them all. Uh, by my hand. What is it? It's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen the Bronto's head stay positioned the way I was looking when I got off before. But it's doing that now. I wonder if that's a new change. I don't know. All right, well, I need a whole bunch of Tinto Berries, so let's just go down here and let's grab, first of all, let's grab these two because I'm going to, I've been making some narcotics and I'll continue to do that. Um... Can't throw those away. You know, those are good things to have. Let me actually get between the two so that I can be sure to transfer transfer full loads. I really wish I could put that on my hot bar so that I could do a transfer all items and not have to pull it back. But, yeah, whatever. Uh, Tintos. Let's reverse this order because Tintos are near the top. Let me grab all of them. Uh, just hitting the T key to transfer quickly from one inventory to another. And if my UI was up right now, it would be telling me I'm way overburdened, and that's fine. Uh, nowhere near overburdened for the mammoth. All right, now I also need for focal chili uh, azulberries, the blue ones, and the yellow ones, and the purple ones. I need everything, basically. Uh, so I'm going to grab a whole bunch of everything. Let's just go alphabetically. Grab some of those. Grab some of those. Grab some of those. And I think that's pretty good. So that should be enough to start with, right? What's the weight on this? Yeah, A64. No problem at all. No problem. Okay, we'll take this back to our industrial cooker. If I can get off unstuck from the Bronto's neck, which is pointing down for some reason. Okay, and here we are. Let's go ahead and get a batch of the health brews going. Get uh, all of those stacks. Throw those in here. You uh, make the health brews with the Tinto Berries and Narcotics. So let's run up real quick to our Narcotics chest. And I was actually making some more Narcotics uh, down here. If I can actually hit the right thing. <laughs> so we'll grab that as well. Just use what's the fresh stuff. The fresh stuff is good, right? Because the fresher is the better. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't expire. Go ahead and throw that in here. 
I do not need that fiber, but I don't think it'll mess anything up. So I'll leave it in there. And grab a can of gas. And we'll see how quickly it can make. I haven't actually made, I don't think in the industrial cooker, have I made the health brews. I would imagine it's fairly quick, though. Yeah. Well. Let's see. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. About three, four seconds per brew. So it's not that bad. All right. The ingredients for the focal chili, however... Uh, are a bit different. Uh, you've got pretty much some of everything. So let's grab our ingredients. All right, our brew is done. All we're going to make from here. So let's go ahead and take the rest of the uh, narcotics out of here. Let's put our other ingredients for the focal chili in. I've never used focal chili. I'm curious what the effects are going to be. It's all of the berries, and you have to have some cooked meat, some citronol. And that should start producing some focal chili, I believe. If I've got the ingredients right, I do. Focal chili. This filling dish is full of nutritional energy. Consume it and gain increased crafting speed and gain increased movement speed. Effects last 15 minutes. Let's take one of these things. And let's experiment, guys. Because I honestly don't know. So, a couple of things. Let's do some speed tests and let's also do some crafting tests. Why did I just transfer spoiled meat into the narcotics cabinet? I don't know. I'm weird. All right. Let's go ahead and put the health brews back up in the brew section. And we've got our focal chili, right? Whoa. Hit, whoa, hit, whoa, hit. Hello. We've got too many uh, ramps too close to each other. All right, Emma, please let me through. Thank you. All right, we're going to we're going to test the speed first of all. We're going to run from here to the bridge uh, without focal chili. Here we go. This is my normal movement speed. I'm running along the sand. All right. I don't even think I don't think I have any boosts. Do I have boosts? I do have boosts in movement speed. I'll check those in just a second for you. Did you see how long that took? I didn't time it. I'm going to let you use your best judgment. And if you want to time it, you can. My movement speed is 112%. So if I now take the focal chili, if I bring up my HUD, you can see that I have focal chili enabled in the bottom left. And now let's run back the other direction. Of course, I stopped, pause momentarily to poop. Um, wow. I'm not seeing much of a difference, guys. I doesn't seem to... I'm going to run back the same way I came the first time. Um, hmm. It's not a big boost. If it's a boost, it's like a few percentage points. It's not much. Okay, so speed is a bust. Let's test crafting. All right, we've still got the focal chiller running. I'm gathering the ingredients here to make uh, stone foundations. I don't know why I'm making stone foundations. Maybe I'm going to construct something. I do want to build something. I just don't know what I want to build yet. I want to build something just creative, just for the heck of it, and see how it goes. Actually, yeah, let's um, let's build. Actually, let's build stone pillars. They don't actually. They don't take very long to make anyway. Foundations take longer, so that's a good test, right? So let's build. Let's build five, so I'm going to have to take some of the items out of here uh, to make it five. Let's throw some of these back. Craftables, foundation, seven. Transfer that back. I'll just find the stone foundation this way. I can still see the wood at the same time. <laughs> Seven. Uh, transfer. Five. Okay. Five with focal chill. Uh, you know what? Let's wait till the focal chili runs out. And then we'll test it without, with and without. Actually, you know what? Why would I waste a focal chili? <laughs> focal chili is running. Let's do the build now. Let's do our five foundations. And let's... Um, Let's kind of guesstimate this. Here we go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012. About 12 seconds for five of them with focal chili. Seemed a little faster than, than before. So I'm going to let this focal chili wear out, and then we're going to try it again with five more without the boost. All right, just checking on our baby here. Or our juvenile, I should say. She's doing fine. That stuff took forever to wear off. 
I put all the ingredients here for five on this particular beaver. Take those five off. Let's go ahead and construct these, craft these, without the recipe, and let's count it up manually again. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015. Okay, I mean, it's taking a lot longer. I mean, <laughs> even if I was off on my counting, that's really going a lot slower. So it does benefit on the crafting big time. That's good to know. It's actually really good to know. When I have a major crafting project again, I think I'm going to use some of that focal, focal chili. I made nine more overall, overall, and uh, I needed to figure out what to do with that. I'm probably going to make more of them and more of the uh, healing brews as well, but I'll do that off camera after the episode. But uh, anyway, I think we're done. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks a lot for uh, checking it out. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.